All right, what's up, my friends? Here we are. It is a gift. The conclusion of Lord of the Rings Bronze to Mythic took us 25 drafts, which is tied for our second worst ever, unfortunately. Although, to be fair, we had a lot of for science drafts in there, which we'll go over shortly. So you can see here the entire run. And uh, our run was uh, real big up real fast, platinum plateau for a bit. Kind of a good run through diamond here. And then we really, really... We really tripped across the finish line here. We were diamond one for a while and then just kind of floundered a bit. And then eventually came into mythic at mythic 80 was our highest rank. Uh, took us a little over 25 hours, about uh, 20, 26 hours. Uh, we did 25 drafts, only eight, seven win runs. Not the best ever. 64% win rates also not great. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we look down here and see how our colors did. Uh, unsurprisingly, black red was our most drafted uh, combination. One of the better color combinations in the format. We were... Okay with it. Not great, honestly. It was it was fine. Uh, our green decks, actually, was where the money was. And I think that we really found our footing with green uh, later in the format, which we'll see. Uh, kind of figuring out that the green decks in the format want to be not archetype bakes. So no food green-white decks, no scribe blue-green decks. Just play many partings and good cards. We'll go, we'll go over the decks a little bit. We can see here, um, I was actually Jund a bunch of times. Second most common archetype for me. And this run was Jund with a 78% win rate, which is pretty good, honestly. Then we had Grixis, obviously, with 262. Sultai, 82% win rate, which is pretty great. Uh, we had a five color, you know, a little uh, whatever. We had Abzan for a pretty good win rate also. So kind of cool to see. Uh, we can see down here, of course, uh, you know, blue-green did very badly. Green-white did very badly. Um, and O3 with black-white, jeez. So Let's pop on, take a little look, and go down to the bottom here. You can see all of our drafts. So you can track all this yourself on Untapped. Obviously, download Untapped for yourself. Please use my link in the chat or in the description. They do sponsor me, so please use that link. They're phenomenal. Track all your games like this for free. Draftsmith, Constructed, Limited, everything else. So, first draft, Black Red, nothing crazy. Second draft was a Jun deck, and um, we weren't really there yet on exactly how to do the multi card green deck, but it's still pretty early in the format, obviously. We had a Balrog and some fun stuff, and, uh, you know, just good stuff. Green. Uh, Rakdos again, 5-3. Rakdos again, 7-2. Uh, nothing really crazy. Rakdos definitely probably the baseline best deck in the format. Uh, super high quality cards. Definitely came to not like, uh, uh, Trebuchet and the Bats very much. Uh, I think they're very, very overrated overall. We'll go over that in a bit. We've got, uh, we tried out a Merry Esquire of Rohan, like, Boros aggro deck. Didn't do very well. Uh, kind of, it's kind of awkward. Jund again. Uh, this time, kind of leaning into the multi-card stuff here. Delighted Halfling, many partings, a lot of green cards, splash for some good powerful cards. Doors of Durin, perhaps the biggest surprise of all as far as rares go. A super awesome card. But this is where we kind of like found the, the, the blueprint for our green decks that was very successful for us. You know, just play a lot of the good uncommons you get late, like, you know, Old Man Willow, Strider, Doors of Durin, whatever, Quick Beam, along with your good green cards, Delighted Halfling, many parting stuff. Uh, five through with a, uh, Demir deck, which looked to be kind of just okay. Three through with blue-white, um, was this our Battle of Bywater deck? Yeah, we had two tri 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 two copies of Battle of Bywater, and, uh, that one, uh, just didn't really, not really a main deck card. Very good sideboard card, not very good main deck card. Grixis, just the usual stuff, you know, the spells or whatever. Try to, try out a food deck, did not work. Uh, I think being a pure food deck is not very exciting. This deck looked like it, could, it couldn't be any better, right? We had double Frodo, double Merry, quad Farmer... Pippin, Butterbeer, Faramir, Stew the Conies, but uh, it's just not a very good archetype. It's just kind of awkward. Blue Red Spells 3 3. Uh, came to like this like a lot uh, by the end, although we honestly didn't win like a ton with it. It was like just fine for us. Five color. Um, just cr oh, this, was our, this, was, this was the wild card deck. This was the crazy, crazy, crazy deck. Um, our Great Hall of a Citadel deck. And I think that the path for this deck is if you want to try and draft the Great Halls deck, you want to be almost monocolored and just playing a bunch of halls and splashing all your legends. So you can see in this deck, we had three halls, mostly mono blue. We were playing Gandalf, Doors of Durin, Old Man Willow, King of the Oathbreakers. The way you get into this deck is by just getting a lot of rares early on. You can't like try and force this deck, but it is a path you can go. If you like first pick Oathbreakers, second pick Old Man Willow, third pick Doors of Durin or whatever, kind of go wild. Uh, and then a lot of blue cards here. I think black's a better base color than blue, but kind of a cool way to do it. Uh, we o 3 somehow with this deck, which looked really good. Uh, Double Shadow Summoning, March the Black Gate. I think this is kind of just an unlucky one, honestly. It didn't, didn't work out. More more green stuff. Uh, I'm just playing green cards. Uh, Schmeagol, kind of cool. A Grixis Trophy, mostly just spells. Another Jun Trophy. Again, more green stuff. Many partings and so on and so forth. 
We tried the Scry deck once. Still a piece of garbage. It was not good. Uh, it was definitely not very good. We had a lot of the good payoffs, Galadriel, Gandalf, Celeborn, but uh, the Scry deck is a mixture of a bunch of things that need to go, go in the right spots just to even function, and even that's not that good either. So another green deck, uh, many partings, and a bunch of a bunch of bunch of cool legends. Another green deck, many partings, delighted halflings, bunch of cool legends, uh, and kind of a uh, Grixis deck that didn't really work out. Spells, middling Rakdos deck, another green deck. This one didn't work out too well because there and back end wasn't very good, honestly. And that was one of our early picks, and like wasn't really a good card to work towards. This deck didn't have enough card quality because the colors weren't open enough. Can't really force the green deck. We had four many partings, but wasn't really there. Um, we did a few, a few drafts for content here at the end. We first picked an Aragorn on the Precipice of Mythic, went 3-3, with another pretty good green deck, honestly, but this one was a little bit too deep, I think. Um, you know, Denethor, Denethor, Strider, Eowyn, Aragorn, all the same decks a little wild. Um, we had our deck that should not have played Sauron, again, going a little too deep for content. Uh, she should have been a Rakdos, so that probably would have gotten seven wins. And then our last, like, a scrappy, crappy blue-red deck. So that's the series, folks. And you can see here, 25 drafts to Mythic. Um, definitely not a very good run by our current bronze, our usual bronze mythic standards. It's funny though, because we were we were really on the edge of Mythic um in like drafts 19 or ish or whatever, and then just like, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, whatever it was. So uh, almost there, but not quite. So that's the series. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do a few extra episodes uh, of like, you know, off season drafts in Mythic while I prep for the Pro Tour. We're also going to do. Um, uh, our usual draft, but takes the wheel, which is a lot of fun. And then uh, we got Eldraine. Return to Eldraine coming up in the fall. That'll be our next major series for Bronze Mythic. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts on the format and the series and everything else. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. I'm Dave Davis. Bronze Mythic Retrospective. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.